Hello and welcome to Symbols of Spring, Part 1. We're going to be drawing types of flowers and two types of animals today. So, the bottom part of the flower is where we'll start. We'll start with the stem, and I'm going to use two vertical lines right next to each other to make the stem. After I've made four stems, I'm also going to look at the tops. But before I do that, I want to look at the leaf shape on the bottom. Now you might remember this, the leaf shape has two curvy lines and a straight line in the middle. And you can add chevrons down that middle line to make it look more like a leaf. So curvy line, curvy line, straight line, chevrons. You can pause the video and rewind it if you need to. I'm just filling up my stems with a couple of leaves each. And they don't both have to be at the bottom. They can be in different spots. It's okay if they're not perfect right now. We're just getting a feel for it. After I'm done with my leaves, I'm going to add the top of the flower, the blossom. I'm going to start with a circle on this one. And I'm going to use curvy lines to go around it. There we go. That's a classic flower shape. So another one's similar. I'm going to make my curvy lines a little pointy at the end. I'm trying to keep that going. This way my flowers will look different from each other. All right. Next one is going to be cup shaped. So I'll use a big U shape. And then around the top, I make a zigzag line. All right. And then the last one, I'm going to use a teardrop shape but I'm gonna do it three times. This is number two. It's gonna cross over the first one. And then the third one, I'll put a little dot there. Curvy line, curvy line. There we go. I got four different types of flowers. To connect them, I'm gonna use a zigzag line to make the grass between them. There we go, got a line of flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the bottom of my paper with a line of flowers too, so I have a whole garden. Now, we all know that flowers grow out of the ground, but you might not have thought about this. Flowers also grow on trees. So I'm going to make a tree that has lost all its leaves from the winter, but it's starting to grow them back. So I'm going to start with some kind of wavy, crooked lines that are next to each other. And it gets closer together at the top. You know, trees get closer. They get smaller at the top. I've got another branch coming off the side here. You can go a little bit wild with this. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I'm just making some skinny branches. There we go. I'll make some medium branches and some short branches too. There we go. Long, medium, and short branches. Now I'm going to start using that teardrop shape, or leaf shape, to make some buds on the tree. Those are flowers that haven't grown yet. This one has already grown. There we go. Cut a couple of buds and a couple of flowers. Take your time. Your tree doesn't have to be full of flowers, but it should have more than just one or two. It should have, you know, a good amount. I would say, you know, at least five or six, maybe more. Okay, I think my tree is about full of flowers. Maybe a couple more. Next, I want to show you how to do a couple of animals that are symbols of spring. First, we'll start with the rabbit. I'm going to start with a circle for the head. I'm going to draw the face in here. The eyes are going to look happy, so they look like uh, curvy lines like that. I do a little triangle for the nose. The triangle is pointing down. 
then a curvy line and a curvy line. That's for the mouth. And the teeth, that's kind of a rectangle shape. Next, I'm going to draw the rabbit's body and legs. So I'm going to start with his little front legs. They're just little curvy lines, like a W. And then I'm going to draw his back. That's going to be a big curvy line, like that. I'm going to draw his foot. It's kind of flat on the bottom, curvy there. And there's his knee and his body. And there's his other foot poking out. He's kind of bundled up there. Next, I'm going to add his big ears. And when rabbits are hiding, they lay their ears down like this instead of having them stick straight up. So this rabbit is playing hide and seek. I use that same shape inside the ears. There we go. Last, he needs a little furry tail. So I use a curly line for the tail. Next, I'm going to make a robin. A robin has a round top of his head. And then its body is curvy. So is its back. It's got a wing there. A teardrop shape. I'm going to add the tail feathers. I'm just going to do three of those. There we go. Triangle for the beak. A little circle for the eye. You can add a smile if you want. And then birds have feet that look like sticks, so I'm going to use those stick feet. We've used those shapes before. Well, now that you know how to draw those animals, I'm going to hide some in my other pictures from before. I hope you add something that you're proud of, and I can't wait to see what you make. Bye for now.